All right, we started our day out warm, but again, we started with a lot of sunshine. It was a beautiful morning, just wasn't easy to stay out there very long. And in the afternoon, we were in the 90s for quite a long time, but we got back down off of that because we had some showers come through the area a couple of times, and the latest round is dying out. And you can see in the immediate triad some activity that rolled through earlier tonight. Got pretty strong in a few spots. Nothing was severe in our own area, but nonetheless, we had some rain from these. You can see where we had some rain today. About 30% of our map had some, and some of the heaviest rain was just north of McLeansville. It's interesting. Four miles from McLeansville in both directions, over two and a half inches of rain, but nothing recorded in McLeansville. And in High Point, the middle of town had rain. This far south did not, and the far northwest side did not. The heaviest rain in High Point was right here around Lexington Avenue and University, High Point University in this particular area. And again, this area in East had some pretty heavy rain come down this evening. 76 degrees outside. Our current reading, 95. Our high today, 74 degrees was our low this morning. We've got 70s all across the area with a few 80s, Asheboro South, and some 70s up in the mountains. A heat index, not much different, a little bit higher, but we're going to get rid of that next week. It's going to be great. We're going to have some drier air, but tomorrow's enough around. We still have a heat advisory for the eastern counties, including Alamance, Caswell, and points east, where the heat index will be 105 plus at times. West of there, it'll be a little lower, so not quite have any advisory. Air temperatures tomorrow will come down a little bit, too. About 92 degrees expected tomorrow, so that's down from our 95 today, and 90 degrees on Sunday. You look at the satellite radar again the rest of the night, you should sleep peacefully. Don't see any problems, and severe weather outlook has us in a level zero, which is where you want to be. There comes the cold front. Cooler and less humid air is coming down. That front will slide through here before lunchtime on Sunday. And then behind it, we'll see things settle down. Now, tomorrow we may see some storms up to our north, but in the triad, we should be in good shape. And the muggy meter also sees an improvement starting with late Sunday into early next week. We go into comfortable air. Tropics got a couple disturbances, but the only one that matters is this one in the middle of the Atlantic. But it's forecast to go and turn to the north is technically right now called investigative 96 L. But uh, this has got a real good chance of developing over the coming days and the models are all coming out this way and turning similar to what the National Hurricane Center has to say. Beaches near 90 degrees all weekend long and hot. 84 and 79 degrees in the mountains with some scattered showers. Piedmont tonight, 74. Tomorrow, look for a high of 92. A few scattered showers and storms. An extended forecast shows you 92 tomorrow, 90 Sunday, and then great weather from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Lows in the 60s, humidity drops. We catch a break for a while, 8 to 12 days out. One more 90 on this next Saturday and then back in the 80s and small chances for showers. Three degree guarantee is tonight's low of 94. My guarantee for today was for a high of 95 and we had a high today of 95.